And thank you for joining us on AKC TV. We are happy to have you with us from the Sunshine State. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida. We are on the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. So excited to be here today. I'm Marissa Sarbach, joined with Bill Ellis from the American Kennel Club. Bill, how exciting is it to be here in the Sunshine State and be covering this? Happy to be here. To be warm. I know we <laughs> love it. We're we're in New York usually, so this is uh this is a nice change. A of nice pace break. For us. We haven't been back yes. in Florida since, since we were at the AKC National Championship exactly. in December. So we're super excited to be back. We're gonna have all seven groups for you today, along with best owner handled in show and best in show. Absolutely. And what else can we expect to see here today, Bill? What's gonna be different? Anything we should be keeping our eye on? There's, an, you know, it'll be um, our regular format for a dog show. So we're going to see all seven groups. The first group up this afternoon will be the sporting group. And then we're going to get to see best owner handled in show, which is great. The national owner handled series. Um, those groups are being judged right now in a different ring. But the best owner handled in show will happen right before best in show here. And then, of course, we'll end the day with our ultimate best in show winner for the day. And so everybody stay tuned. It is 2.45 Eastern Standard Time right now. We'll be here for a few hours waiting until best in show. And make sure if you're watching us on Facebook or you're checking in on Instagram, Twitter, we are happy to have you with us. But we would love for you to check out our website. That is akc.tv. We have all of this content for you, all the shows we go to, all of that content on demand. And you can find us on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. And our brand new mobile app, which we yes. just launched. So it I just already, launched I our mobile app. I already downloaded it on my phone, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty new. Lots of changes that are happening with the mobile app as we develop our content and everything. So our, we're just getting the ring set up here for our group judging. And we'll get started in just a few moments. You can see our... They're hard at work just getting the ring set up. If you are just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. I'm Marissa Sarbeck here with Bill Ellis from the American Kennel Club. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida, the Sunshine State. Happy to be here. Happy to see all of these dogs, owners, handlers, everybody. And if you want to know how a dog show works, here's how. If you love dogs, dog shows are a great way to learn about all the different breeds and meet people who share your passion. Dog shows, also known as confirmation events, combine the thrill of competition with the joy of seeing all types of dogs, from bulldogs to Great Danes. All breeds fully recognized by the AKC can compete in confirmation events. Originally started as a way to evaluate dogs for breeding, Dog shows today provide an avenue for dog lovers of all ages to compete and see how their dog measures up to the standard for its breed. You'll meet breed experts, have an opportunity to socialize with other dog lovers in your area, and develop friendships that can last a lifetime. Confirmation is super fun because I get to make friends with people who love dogs just like me. Showing your dog is a fun activity and is a terrific way to strengthen your bond with your dog. You can get started by attending a dog show near you. Watching experienced exhibitors in the ring will give you a good sense of how a show works. Confirmation's just been a lot of fun for my dog and me. The amount of time we spend preparing to go to the shows and showing and, and training, it's really strengthened the bond between us. Local AKC clubs can be a great resource to help you begin showing your dog. Reach out to them to find out about handling training classes near you. I love dog shows because my dog and I are able to work as a team and have a ton of fun. Also, I'm able to spend time with my dog show family, who's like my nuclear family, but I can only see them when I'm at dog shows. Join the fun and embark on your dog showing journey. For more information about getting started, visit akc.org slash confirmation. And there you go. Again, we 
are live in West Palm Beach, Florida. These dogs have just entered the ring. Now you are looking at some of the dogs in the sporting group. This is going to be our first group of the day. We are, of course, live at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Happy to be here. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. You are getting a live look at these dogs. They have just entered the ring, and it looks like the judge is getting that first look around. Yep, so our judge this afternoon for the sporting group is Suli Greendale Paveza from Hamden, Connecticut. And our first dog up in the sporting group is actually the Weimariner. Getting a look there at the Chesapeake Bay Retriever for a moment. There's the Weimariner, Elvis, with his owner handler, Mickey McCracken. You can always tell the Weimar owners apart, Bill, because of that gray color. And taking a look now at the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever is Styx. She is three years old from Fort Myers, Florida, with her breeder, owner, and handler, Jessica Bratz. Jessica's a junior handler, also competes in junior showmanship here with Styx, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Getting an early look there at the Wirehead Beach Law on your screen. The wire-haired Vishla is Dante from St. Augustine, Florida. Being shown this afternoon by Blake Hansen. And you can see it even there on the screen, that dense, wiry, protective coat. Really notable on them. Yeah, there's a good close-up, those distinctive mm -hmm. free uh, beard and eyebrows. So cute. And here is the flat-coated retriever. This is Tia. Tia is two years old from Tampa, Florida, being shown by Chelsea Goss this afternoon. Tia is also working toward her junior hunt title. All-purpose sporting breed. And that flat-coated retriever, they really come from a combination of a few different dogs, like the Newfoundlands, Water Spaniels, Setters, and Sheepdogs. I think you can see all those traits mm -hmm. here and Tia. And they are really the same kind of foundation stock as that Labrador Retriever. And this is the Vishla, Hungarian breed. This is Ash. Ash is two years old. From Denellen, Florida, being shown by Janice Granda. Ash is actually the youngest male history or male Vishla in history to finish his championship at just six months old. Aww. Have to be six months old to show at a dog show. So obviously Ash showed a lot of promise as a puppy. Mm -hmm. And this is the Brittany. Willow. Willow here is two years old. Being shown by Chelsea Rowe. The Brittany's are super energetic, very athletic breed. And if you don't regularly exercise them, they can become hyperactive or even develop some bad habits. Yeah, they definitely need an outlet for all of that energy not only physical stimulation but some mental stimulation so dog sports training lots of good long walks and runs now we get our first look at the nova scotia duck tolling retriever this is max max is just 21 months old from hobie sound being shown by Ginger Willis this afternoon. 
Mac. Dogs, oh, go ahead, no, <laughs> go ahead, Marissa. <laughs> these dogs originated from a variety of setters, retrievers, collies, spaniels, all brought into Nova Scotia by those early settlers. And they did have that original name that was Little River Duck Dog. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. This is, of course, the Labrador Retriever, the most popular breed in America. Look at that wagging tail. I think we can definitely see, see why, why they're <laughs> so popular. This is Bruno. Bruno is four years old. And we're going to see a lot of pink and green here today, too, on our handlers and judges. <laughs> that was the theme of the dog show today, was everybody wearing their pink and green, since we're here in Palm Beach. Labradors, of course, have that wonderful, fun-loving personality. They make great companions. A little vacuuming necessary as they are shedders, but wonderful companions. Super easygoing, very friendly. And they do love the water. And here is the German short-haired pointer. Another energetic, athletic, sporting breed. This is Cora, who is being shown by Vanessa Barrera from Palm City, Florida. These dogs are really obedient, really versatile gun dog. Cora here is a daughter of CJ, the German short hair pointer who went best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club a couple years ago. Of course, here we have the Golden Retriever. This is Doak from Miami, Florida. Another extremely popular breed. And they do have a very high activity level, so that is something to keep in mind. Most of them will do pretty well, though, with about half an hour a day of walking, running, and they do very well in a couple of different events, agility and obedience. Dog got his name for Florida State University's football stadium. Ah. Might be the first time that we've had a dog named after a stadium. So if you're just joining us, we're at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We're just underway with the first group of the afternoon, the sporting group, which is being judged by Suli Greendale Paveza. We're having a look at the English Springer Spaniel there who's going to come up on the ramp to be judged. The English Springer Spaniel is Usher. He is Five years old from Wikiwachi, Florida. He's being shown by his breeder and owner, Roxana Bowman McKinney. This breed is exceptionally intelligent, and very responsive to training, too. They're often used in detection work. Very cheerful, very social, very sweet dogs. So you'll see our judges this afternoon move each dog down and back after they go over them and then around and this gives those judges an opportunity to get their hands on each dog and really get a feel for them and then get to see them moving in every different direction. This is the Clumber Spaniel that we're looking at right now. This is Lego. He is three and a half years old, being shown by Milton Lopez. And the Clumber Spaniel was one of the first specialized Spaniel breeds. They do date back to 18th century France. They have this longer, lower, heavier 
build, which allows them to hunt effectively. They have those muscular, powerful legs, heavy bone. And there's the Nader Lanza Quaker Hunja on your screen. Just getting the table set up for them. One of our new breeds. One of the newer breeds, yep, recognized beginning of 2017, so. This is Toby. Toby's just 18 months old from Miami, Florida. He's being shown by Jessica Herzon this afternoon. The Quakers really are a true sporting dog. They have such a great character. Energetic, friendly, very alert, and just willing to please, ready for work. People often say they're really animated. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are coming to you live on AKC TV from West Palm Beach, Florida. It's very nice down here, Bill. <laughs> it is. It's nice to be <laughs> down here in warm Florida. Yeah, we can't be the only ones that came from the Northeast <laughs> for this show. Now on the table, it's the first of three Cocker Spaniel varieties. Cocker Spaniels are shown in three different varieties. They're all the same breed, and they all have the same written breed standard that ideal, uh, describes the ideal specimen for Cocker Spaniels, but they are shown in three different color varieties. So our first color variety here is the party color Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> party color means that the color is white in combination with another solid color, or roan. This Dog here is Captain. He's three years old from Boca Raton, Florida. Being shown by his owner, Jessica, Jennifer, excuse me, Boone. These dogs are very merry, sociable, super affectionate. And they really need human companionship. Probably why people love them so much. And our next Cocker Spaniel that you see on the table right there is the Black Cocker Spaniel. This is Marius. He is two years old from Port St. Lucie, Florida. He is also training to compete in agility, scent work, and rally. So lots and lots of dog sports for Marius. There's dog sport out there for every dog. We're going to see some different sports next weekend, too, on AKC TV when we visit the Agility Rally and Obedience National Championships in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you can watch all of that on AKC TV. And we do stream everything uh, everything live on Facebook as well. We're assuming most of you are watching there, but don't forget to head over to that website and just check out all of our content. We have our shows on there, anything that you may have missed that is all on demand for you on AKC TV. Our final dog here in the sporting group is the ASCOB Cocker Spaniel. ASCOB stands for any solid color other than black. This is Elvis, he is five years old from Lake Worth, Florida. Another accomplished agility dog. He has several agility titles and actually competed at the Westminster Kennel Club in agility just last month. These dogs really are so intelligent, really willing to please, and just very easy to train. And that is it for our dogs in the sporting group. So our Judge Suli Greendale Paveza will get to have another look at these beautiful sporting dogs that she's got here to choose from. Just going to walk down the line and I'm going to think about all the things that she felt and saw in their individual when she went over them and watched them move individually. And 
she's going to have each dog go around one at a time again. Just remember that judge is not judging the dogs against each other in the ring. She's judging each of these dogs off that written breed standard. Yep, so each breed has a standard that describes the ideal specimen for each breed. And she's going to have those standards in mind as she looks at these dogs and she'll be thinking about which which one of these dogs best fits that written breed standard. So she's not looking at the golden retriever against the Labrador. She's looking at the golden retriever against the golden retriever standard. And that's how she'll make her choices. That's the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever that we just saw and there's the Labrador going around. followed by the German short-haired pointer and the golden retriever. The English Springer Spaniel. The Clumber Spaniel is going to go around. There's the Nederlanza Quaker Hunja, or the Quaker for short, we call them. And then our three Cocker Spaniels at the end of the sporting group. Now our judge gets to choose a winner. Looks like the wire-haired Vishla is going to get pulled out first. Followed by the Vishla, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, and the Nederlanza Quaker Hunja. And that's it. So the wire-haired Vishla is the winner of the sporting group, followed by the Vishla, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, and the Nederlanza Quaker Hunja. That ends our first group of the afternoon here at West Palm Beach. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back to start the working group next. There are certain breeds that are going to be great apartment dogs if you live in New York City. There's going to be other breeds that are fabulous working dogs for you if you're out on a ranch. He is my best friend. AKC.org is the best place to start because they have all the information about any breed you can think of. What's not to love about this place? <laughs> Home. Home is where family comes together. Home is where you go to relax. Home is where you feel secure. With the AKC line of premium pet products, you can rest assured that your pet feels safe and secure in their home too. AKC, because every home deserves a good dog and every dog deserves a good home. AKC Secure Pet Living Products, available at The Home Depot. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at Agility and Obedience Trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us here live in West Palm Beach, Florida. Happy to be here. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are looking at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. You're watching it on AKC TV. I want to show you our upcoming schedule because we do have a lot going on that you don't want to miss. Coming up, we have the AKC Rally National Championship. That is on Friday, March 15th. Then we have the AKC National Obedience Championship, Saturday and Sunday, March 16th and 17th. 
AKC Agility National Championship coming up on Sunday, March 17th. And then the Rally Kennel Club Dog Show Saturday, March 23rd. As you can tell, very busy March for us here at AKC TV. And we hope you are joining us along for the ride. We are into our second group. We just saw the sporting group. We just watched that live here on AKC TV. And we are just starting now with the working group. Our judge is getting a first look at this first dog. And she's got a pretty full ring here. She does. Our judge for the working group is Dorothy Collier from Sapphire, North Carolina. Our first dog up is, of course, the very recognizable Great Dane. This is Spike. That's a pretty appropriate name for a dog of this size, <laughs> I think. He's two and a half years old from Wesley Chapel, Florida, being shown by B.J. Barnhart. These dogs are really spirited, a very courageous breed, but actually known for being really sensitive and gentle as well. They were developed from an ancient combination of Mastiff and Irish Wolfhound. Here is the Black Russian Terrier. The Black Russian Terrier is Lord. He is four years old from Bradenton, Florida. And these, these dogs were selectively bred just for that intelligence and really that trainability as well. Very alert, very confident dog. And they do really well as family dogs because they're extremely loving and devoted. You can see that happy nature there. And if you are joining us just now, thanks so much for doing so. You are watching the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association live on AKC TV. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. And you are watching the working group. The giant schnauzer here is, is Jake. Jake got to look at some of the food <laughs> on the ground there, so <laughs> he's going to go down and back again so that our judge gets the best look possible. Jake is five years old from Sarasota, Florida. We saw Jake at the end of the year at the AKC National Championship where he was best of breed there. And these dogs really excel at a lot of our dog sports. Very high activity level. They really need an outlet for that mental and physical energy. And this is the Rottweiler. Very strong and powerful working breed. They make loyal and loving companions, but they are guardians. That's what they were partly bred to do. This is Ringo. He's two years old from Green Sea, South Carolina. Being shown by Rose Robinette. The personalities really do range in this breed. Most of them very affectionate. Some of them can be reserved, but overall very calm, confident, very, very loyal. They do have very strong protective and territorial instincts. Of course, making them great watch dogs. Most of them companion dogs nowadays, but they do also work as police dogs, some service dogs, therapy dogs. And this is the Great Pyrenees, a breed developed in the Pyrenees Mountains to help guard the flocks. This is Marco. Marco is from Noonan, Georgia. 
He is four years old, being shown by Aaron Wilkerson. Marco won the great Pyrenees Pub of America National Specialty. As well as the regional specialty and the top 20 competition for great Pyrenees. Those dogs are really easily recognized by that double coat. It is like a thick, profuse mm -hmm. double coat. Weather resistant. Something to consider if you wear a lot of black. <laughs> and here is the bull mastiff. The bull mastiff is Titus. Titus is two years old. Hometown guy from here in West Palm Beach, Florida, with his handler Cassandra Carpenter. Mastiffs do really well in a lot of our dog sports, like obedience, tracking, agility, carding. And they also make excellent therapy dogs. Smart and athletic. Mm -hmm. Really a, a cross between the Mastiff and the Bulldog. The boxer is Moose. Moose is just 18 months old. Being shown by Allison Pacheco from Palm City, Florida. These dogs really are guard dogs by instinct. Very alert. But they're usually pretty well known for needing human companionship, and they really just want to be a part of the family. You can see how mm -hmm. athletic boxers are. Very muscular and powerful breed. Another breed that definitely needs some good exercise. Yeah, they're really smart and very trainable, so you do have to kind of channel that energy. So we are working our way through the working group, no pun intended there. <laughs> this is our second group of the day here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. We saw the wire-haired Vishla win the first group of the afternoon, the sporting group. And we're enjoying the working group right now, about halfway through with our judge, Dorothy Collier. And we are looking at the Siberian Husky right now. This is Natalie. She's three years old with her handler, Marie Falconer. Siberian Huskies were bred to run long distances. You can really see that they're super athletic and could just run all day. We just had a Siberian Husky on our show, Ask the Expert on AKC TV. That's right. Yeah, very beautiful Siberian Husky. This is the Samoyed on your screen right now. Another Arctic breed. They have that characteristic white coat. Also can come with uh, some color patches that they call Biscuit. This is Winnie. Winnie is 13 months old. He is from Pembroke Pines, Florida and being shown by Jessica Herzon this afternoon. We will be bringing you all seven groups this afternoon, as well as owner handled best in show and best in show. So after the working group here, we'll have the herding group, and then we'll see the toy group, the terrier group, non-sporting, and hound. This is the Newfoundland that we're getting our first look at on the screen right now. 
This is Finnegan. He's just 15 months old. Being shown by his handler, Don Gallo. These dogs are extremely gentle. Very willing to please. Finnegan is also training for draft and water training, which is what Newfoundlands were bred to do. Yeah, very fitting, because they really are just an all-purpose working dog. This is the Portuguese water dog up next in the working group. Blaze. Blaze just turned four years old. She is from St. Mary's, Georgia, with her owner and handler, Beth Mercier. Portuguese water dogs were developed in Portugal to help the fishermen bring in their nets. They are super athletic. They have lots of energy. They can be a bit clownish. They're a really fun breed. And they do really well, Bill, in a lot of our sports, like agility, obedience, rally, tracking. They are so smart, so mm -hmm. athletic, and ready to be trained. You know, they, they like a job to do. And here is our final dog in the working group, the Doberman Pinscher. This is Luigi. Luigi is three years old from Beverly Hills, Florida, being shown by Linda Whitney. Luigi has won the breed at the AKC National Championship, which we, we mentioned earlier in December. And Dobermans really learn very quickly, but they're quite sensitive. And they don't do well with rough handling or inconsistent training. And consistent training, positive reinforcement, true for so many dogs. Judge Dorothy Collier gets to have a, another look here at all the beautiful dogs in her working group. See if she wants to maybe move them again, or maybe she's made up her mind. We'll have to see what she wants to do. If you're just joining us, we are right now in the working group. She's pulling out the Great Dane, the Giant Schnauzer, the Rottweiler, and the Great Pyrenees to start. So this looks like a short list, right, Bill? It does, yeah. It looks like she's going to make a cut. Have a look at some of her favorites there. She's pulling out the boxer as well. And it looks like the Portuguese water dog is going to join them. Just gives our judge a chance to look through the dogs that she really wants a second look at. She may have them go around the ring one more time. Yep, and she's also got the Doberman out there. So, beautiful group of dogs to choose from. They're going to go around the ring one at a time again. She's just going to get them organized here, get them all back. Before we go around one at a time. There goes the Great Dane. And the Giant Schnauzer. And what is our judge looking for here in this second 
Well, you know, she's seen all of these dogs individually, right? So there was the Rottweiler. She's gone over all of them, watched them move down and back and around. So this gives her an opportunity to look at them all again as we watch the Great Pyrenees start to go around. And kind of gather her thoughts and remember what she saw the first time when she saw each of these dogs. The boxers going around the ring there. Having a look at the floor. <laughs> the Portuguese water dog. And then our final dog in the working group is the Doberman. There's a beautiful group of working dogs. It looks like the Rottweiler is going to be the winner. She's pulled the Rottweiler Ringo out first. Followed by the Great Pyrenees, the Great Dane, and the Boxer. Yep, that's it. The Rottweiler is the winner of the working group, followed by the Great Pyrenees, the Great Dane, and the Boxer. So congratulations to Ringo the Rottweiler. That completes our second group of the afternoon, the working group. Coming up next, we have the herding group. We will be back in just a few moments here on AKC TV. My favorite part about being a breeder is putting that puppy into a person's hands. The relationship between the owner and breeder is really important. It's something that's ongoing for the life of the dog. Some of them live in my home. Some of them I don't ever want to let go running around and playing with dogs all week long, it's nothing better. The most important thing that you're going to want is a healthy dog. When we sell a puppy to a new family, they become part of our family. We're there to help them for the life of the dog. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. We are AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs. AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club, brings 130 years of dog expertise to dog lovers the world over. From a front row seat at world-class dog events, to training and health tips for you and your pup, to programming created especially for you and your best friend. Find us online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC TV. Sit. Stay. Watch. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here in sunny Florida. We are in West Palm Beach for the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Now, so far today, we have seen the sporting group and the working group. The sporting group won by the wild-haired Bisla, and the working group won by the Rottweiler. Coming up, we have the herding group. And, of course, you are watching this exclusively on AKC TV. I'm Marissa Sarbach sitting here with Bill Ellis. We are ringside and happy to be here. We are your commentators for today from AKC TV. We are waiting on these dogs to come into the ring for the herding group. Should be any moment now. Yep, looks like we're just getting set to have the herding group get started. Our judge is just getting his judge's book marked so that we're all set and ready to go. And for those of you joining us on social media, thank you so much for doing so. We see your comments and we see you tuned in. We appreciate it. Just want to let you know also, you can check us out on akc.tv to find all of our content. If you missed anything from any of our shows that we normally do each week or any of our events, go to akc.tv and find everything on demand. Herding breeds were developed to gather, herd, and protect livestock, functions that they have performed since prehistoric time. They also make incredible companions and just all around farm dogs. They excel at competitive performance events such as agility, obedience, and rally. And just like the working group, Bill, we're really gonna see some dogs that need physical and mental stimulation to stay happy. Especially a lot of these herding breeds, they were developed to work and they need jobs to do. 
Our judge for the herding group is Paul Wilhoff from Port St. Lucie, Florida. And our first dog up in the herding group is the German Shepherd Dog. The German Shepherd Dog is Cash. He is four years old, here from Canton, Georgia, with his handler, Lenny Brown. Cash is a multiple best in show winner. German Shepherds not only excel as herding breed and herding dogs, but they make incredible working dogs, police dogs, service dogs, smart, amazing companions. A very poised, confident breed. And this is the bearded collie. The bearded collie is Kiki. Kiki is four and a half years old from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Kiki's being shown by Renee Rosamalia. And these dogs developed back in Scotland. They're a great working sheep dog, and they do really well in the cold, wet climate, even on rocky terrain. They've got that protective coat. Mm -hmm. Helps them be able to still go outdoors and work in the cold and the wet weather. This is the Border Collie that we're getting a look at here on the screen next. This is Pyro. He's a year and a half old from Lakeland, Florida with his owner and handler, Savannah Lay. Pyro's best friend is a Chinese Crested. <laughs> I think we're gonna see a lot of Border Collies next weekend when we give Tulsa for oh the I Obedience bet. Rally yeah. and Agility <laughs> Championship. They are so smart, so athletic. They really excel at those companion sports. They are some of the most competitive breeds and at those events. And very easily bored. Very, very easily bored. Yeah, they definitely need an outlet for their intelligence. And before they were known as the Border Collie, they were actually known as the Scotch Sheepdog. This next up in the herding group is the Briard, <laughs> French herding breed. This is Sheik. He is four years old, here from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, being shown by Adriana Rocha, another best of breed winner at the AKC mm. National Championship in Orlando, Florida, last December. What's really fun about being on the road for all these dog shows, too, is that we really get to build up to the national championship at the end of the year, which is was the largest dog show in North America last year. All of our dogs competing for points to be, you know, top dogs, ranked highly in their breeds and their groups. And the level of quality we saw at the AKC National Championship, Bill, was just amazing. And it was really fun. We got to do mm -hmm. all, not only the national championship on the weekend, but the three dog shows that led up to the national championship, the AKC Royal Canaan, Puppy and Junior Stakes, so many different events that we covered down there in Orlando, as well as a live show. We had a big AKC set down there, so it seems early in March, but we're, we're already excited Can't to get back in year, December. Yeah. <laughs> This is the Old English Sheepdog that our judge is going over right now. This is Mateo. He is three years old here all the way from Montreal, Canada. I wonder if Mateo winters here in Florida <laughs> from Montreal. Being shown by his breeder and owner, Sally Beretta. Mateo also has a sister who's very competitive in the show ring. She was the number two Old English Sheepdog last year. So 
These dogs were first shown back in the 1800s, but they pretty quickly became a very popular show dog. Not for the faint of heart when it comes to grooming. No, and they for the show ring, take some we're brushing. Not kidding. <laughs> Quite a few hours every week. And they were known to be owned by some prominent society figures too. The Vanderbilt family, Morgan family, Guggenheim family. They were living the life. Mm -hmm. Our next dog in the herding group is the Belgian Tavern. There's three different Belgian herding breeds that we will see in the herding group this afternoon. Hopefully we'll see all three. This is the Belgian Tavern. This is Khan. He is three years old from Royal Palm Beach, Florida. With his owner and handler, Ted DeSanti. These dogs are extremely intelligent, very versatile working dogs. They do really well at police work and obedience. And they got that name from the Belgian village where that breed came from. We're about halfway through the herding group here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. I'm Bill Ellis here with Marissa Sarbeck for AKC TV. We're on our third group of the day. We saw the Wirehaired Beachlow win the sporting group and the Rottweiler win the working group. So once we finish up here with the herding group, we will have the toy group, the terrier group, the non-sporting and hound group still to come. This is the Australian cattle dog that our judge is going over right now. This is Luke. Luke is five years old here all the way from National Park, New Jersey. Luke was best of breed at the Westminster Kennel Club last year. One of the top Australian cattle dogs in the country. You can see that coat too. Very good. It's a, like a very weather resistant double coat. Which does really well for them because they really like to be outdoors doing things, like to keep busy. Yeah, they are very, very talented herders and farm dogs. We do really well in a lot of our dog sports. And here is the Australian Shepherd. This is Turbo. Turbo is two and a half years old from Orlando, Florida, with his breeder, owner, and handler, Lindsay Grinnells. Lindsay tells us that Turbo loves everyone and loves to give great hugs. <laughs> <laughs> He can feel free to make his way to our table ringside here. <laughs> <laughs> Australian Shepherds have a deceiving name. They actually were developed here in this country, not in Australia. And I did see a comment on Facebook that somebody missed the sporting group. Just a heads up, if you missed any of the groups today or you missed any of our shows in general, events or shows, everything goes on akc.tv. You can download that on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire. Check out any content. It's all available on demand. We also recently released our mobile app, so you can find that in the App Store on your iPhones or in the Google Play Store. It's exciting to finally have our own app. I have it on my phone. As it soon is. As, as soon as they let us know. Brand <laughs> new. So we're continuing to make updates and changes and work on the different content that you see there. This is another one of the Belgian breeds. This is the Belgian Malinois, a breed that we often see not only herding, but in lots and lots of working dogs as detection dogs. We see them as police dogs in airports. 
This is Paige. Paige is just seven months old from Claremont, Florida. A youngster. Just getting started in the show ring. She's doing a great job out there. These dogs, of course, have such a strong working drive. And because they're so intelligent, they really do well at a lot of our dog sports and even advanced obedience training. But you really have to stay on top of that training with these dogs. Yeah, they are not ready to be couch potatoes, mm -hmm. that's for sure. And very sensitive, too. This is the Spanish water dog that our judge is going over now. This is Lisi, 21 months old, originally from Vienna, Austria. She's made a long trip to be here in this country, being shown by her handler and owner, Melanie Wood. Thought to be a really ancient breed, but actually nobody knows that earliest origin. Very versatile water retriever. You can tell by that distinctive curly woolly coat. Such a distinctive coat. The single coat hangs in natural curls, and as they get older, will actually form cords. <laughs> there's our first look at the Shetland Sheepdog. Just getting the table set up for the Shetland Sheepdog to go over for our judge, Paul Wilhawk. The Shetland Sheepdog here is Dude. He is 22 months old from Homestead, Florida. Being shown by his owner, Gail Silverman. You have quite a few possible ancestors, including the Collie, Pomeranian, and King Charles Spaniel, and even some Spitz breeds. They certainly have a look of a smaller Collie, mm -hmm. but they are a very distinct breed developed in the Shetland Isles. A great all-purpose farm dog. Also a really great companion breed. See, the judge really has to get their hands on each of these dogs, especially when they have these thicker coats like the Shetland Sheep Dog here to really feel underneath all of that coat, keeping in mind the breed standard, how the breed standard describes the ideal specimen for each breed. Right, so for example, the Sheltie is not going to be judged against any of the other dogs in that ring. It's just going to be judged against the written breed standard for the Shetland exactly. Sheep Dog. Exactly. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Getting a look at the herding group. So far today, we have seen the sporting group and the working group. Getting toward the end of the herding group here. This is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi on our screen right now. A very popular breed. This is Robin, he is three years old, originally from Buenos Aires, Argentina. You said that pretty good. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> A good accent there. <laughs> Being shown by Milton Lopez, the group winner in this country and in South America. And they tell us that Robin here loves to roll in the dewy grass every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure her owners love that. They do really well in a lot of our dog sports too, like herding and obedience trials. A great family dog, so sweet, so friendly. And now we get to look at the miniature American Shepherd. This is Flo, 
Flo is six months old from North Fort Myers, Florida. She's being shown by her owner, Robin Lauf. This is, looks like this is just Flo's second weekend of dog shows. They tell wow. us that last weekend was her first show. So just getting started in the show ring and looks like she's having a really nice time handling all of this very well. And this breed does really well with obedience training, but very naturally sensitive. So they do pretty well as therapy dogs or even search and rescue dogs. And our final dog in the herding group is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, <coughs> Sophia. Sophia is just a year and a half old from Palm City, Florida. And this is her breeder, owner, and handler, Paula O'Donnell. She is just beginning her show career. So we saw the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. This is the Cardigan again, and they are very distinct breeds. Of course, the Cardigans have the tail, but there are many other differences as well, including the Cardigan being larger. They have a little bit of a different shape to their ear. <laughs> and Bill, I have to tell you, when we were at the uh, Meet the Breeds ahead of Westminster, I had gone to the Cardigan Welsh Corgi booth, and they were so cute. Oh, are you in dogs. the market, Marissa? <laughs> <Are you> <laughs> I'm not. I just wanted to pet as many dogs are as I could. <laughs> Meet the Breeds was just one of our many events that we've covered so far this year. And if you missed anything, check it out on akc.tv. Of course, that content is all available on demand for you. Even this show will be there. So that was the final dog in the herding group, and now our judge, Paul Wilhawk, will get an opportunity to go back down the line and get another look at all of these beautiful herding dogs as he makes his decision, see if he wants to have another look at all of them. I was going to make a huge turn. And it looks like he does want to get one more look of everybody going around the ring. This gives him a chance to see if he remembered what he saw before. Again, you are watching the herding group. So far today, we've seen the working group as well as the sporting group. This is a nice opportunity for our judges to get another look at each dog after they've gone over them individually. Our judge, Paul Wilhawk, now gets to make his decision here in the herding group. Like he's going to pull the German Shepherd dog out. The Briard. The Australian Cattle Dog. Excuse me, the Australian Shepherd and the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. So he's got four dogs out there led by the German Shepherd dog. We'll see if he moves them around again. That's it. The German Shepherd Dog Cash wins the herding group here in West Palm Beach at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. That wraps up the herding group, which was our third group of the day. Next up, we have the toy group. We will be back in just a few moments here on AKC TV. We are AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs. AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club, brings 130 years of dog expertise to dog lovers the world over. From a front row seat at world-class dog events, to training and health tips for you and your pup, to programming created especially for you and your best friend.
find us online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC TV. Sit, stay, watch. Roxy sure is having fun. Party's over, Six Legs. She's got Semperica now. Semperica what? Semperica is what kills ticks and fleas like us. Kills? Kills! Studies show at the end of the month, it kills more ticks in less time than Frontline Plus and NextGuard. Guess we should mosey on! See you never, Roxy. Use Semperica with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. The most common side effects are vomiting, diarrhea, and lethargy. Say goodbye to ticks and fleas with monthly Semperica chewables. There are certain breeds that are going to be great apartment dogs if you live in New York City. There's going to be other breeds that are fabulous working dogs for you if you're out on a ranch. Well, he is my best friend. AKC.org is the best place to start because they have all the information about any breed you can think of. What's not to love about this place? <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We are at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. We have the toy group coming up. Very excited to see what's going on here. So far today, we have seen the sporting group, the working group, and the herding group. You are joining us just in time for the toy group. So we saw the Wirehead Beachlow win the sporting group earlier, the Rottweiler win the working group, and the German Shepherd Dog win the herding group. As Marissa mentioned, we're waiting on the toy group, and then we will bring you the terrier group, the non-sporting group, and the hound group after that, followed by best owner handled in show and best in show. So lots more to come for you this afternoon here on AKC TV. If you're joining us on Facebook or any form of social media, please head over to akc.tv. You can watch it there live. And you, if you missed anything, don't worry. If you missed any of those groups, we'll put everything for you on demand on our website. Of course, you can download the app, Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Catch up on anything you missed. Any of our events will be posted there. Our dog shows, AKC Dog Center, we do every Tuesday and Friday at noon. And on Wednesdays at noon, we do our Ask the Expert segment where we take questions live on Facebook from you. And of course, those times are Eastern Standard Time. We do them from New York. A little bit earlier for our friends over on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So our toy group is going to get started and come in the ring right now. Toy breeds were bred to be companion animals. A lot of them resemble their larger cousins that we see in the other groups. Our toy group this afternoon is going to be judged by Dennis McCoy from Apex, North Carolina. And because the toy group is smaller, we're going to see the judge utilize the table right in front there so he can get a nice close look at each of these dogs. He's going to walk down the line and just get an initial impression for each of these toy dogs. If you're just tuning in, thank you for doing so. I'm Marissa Sarr back here with Bill Ellis from AKC TV. We are your commentators for today's Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association, and you are watching us live. We are ringside, getting a nice close-up look at all of these dogs. Our first dog up on the table is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Very popular companion breed. They love to be with their people. Very affectionate, very gentle too. This is Tiger. He is three years old from my hometown, Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm.
Dylan Cavalier descended from Britain's English Toy Spaniel, which was actually one of the most popular breeds back in the late 19th century. You can see it right there, just a very social, cheery disposition. Very willing to please and very adaptable. And this is the Shih Tzu on the table right now. This is Khalil, two years old. He is from Kissimmee, Florida, being shown by one of his owners, Ed Vale. Shih Tzus are a true companion breed, happy affectionate, loving family dogs. This is a very ancient Asian breed. And the ancestors of this ancient Asian breed sent to China as gifts during the Tang Dynasty, bred the imperial kennels. And this is the English toy spaniel on the table right now. English Toy Spaniels come in a few different color varieties. This is the Prince Charles variety, black color with those tan points. This is Truffles. Truffles is five years old. She's being shown by Erica Lanasa this afternoon. She was best of variety at the Westminster Kennel Club last month. One of the English toy spaniels, often known as comfort spaniels, the favorite of the British royalty for hundreds of years. And that black and tan variety, actually named after King Charles II. This is the Chinese Crested. This is Marcello from Pompano Beach, Florida. Being shown by his owner, Sandra Francis. Marcello actually was born in Italy and is an Italian champion as well. I'm probably saying it wrong, it's probably Marcello. Michello. But, you know, I'm not. Well, fancy don't judge me for <laughs> my <laughs> Italian accent. You did really well in the Spanish before. <laughs> yeah, I did all right. No comments about Bill's <laughs> <laughs> Italian accent on social media, please. <laughs> this is the Italian Greyhound on the table right now. Italian greyhounds, of course, look like, very much resemble their larger cousin, the greyhound. Very, very fast and athletic breed. This is Mary. Mary is two and a half years old from Miami. Now, historians actually debate whether the Italian greyhounds were actually bred as a companion or a hunting dog. They really became pretty popular all throughout Europe, but especially in Italy, hence the name. And on the table right now is the Papillon. Papillon, of course, is French for butterfly, and we're getting a really good look at the ears there, which is how they got their name for that butterfly look to their ears. This is Christy. She is two and a half years old from Atlanta, Florida. And they've been a pretty consistently popular dog for a companion, canine athlete, show They dog. make great athletes and they excel in agility. So I know next weekend in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We'll see a lot. Well, listen to me, I'm making a prediction. I'll probably <laughs> be wrong. But I predict we'll see some Papillon. Well, you said it about the border the collie, and I bet you're going to be right <laughs> on that one. 
This is the toy fox terrier that our judge is going over right now. This is Flashy. Flashy is three years old from Howell, New Jersey. Flashy was the number one toy fox terrier in the country last year for 2018 and best of breed at the Westminster Kennel Club. I think Ashley really, or excuse me, Flashy really likes it warm because they tell us that she likes sleeping under the covers <laughs> and sunbathing. <laughs> so. She's probably having a great <laughs> time here in Florida then. <laughs> well, those toy fox terriers, really an all-American breed, developed from crossing the smooth fox terriers with a combination of a few different toy breeds, including the miniature pincher, the Italian greyhound, the chihuahua, and the Manchester terrier. And this is the Pug Pearl. Being very friendly we're there with our judge, Dennis <laughs> McCoy. Pearl is 19 months old from Wellington, Florida, not too far away. Pugs are a lot of dog in a little package. You could say that again. <laughs> Well, these dogs originated in China, and they were bred in the Imperial Kennels. They do bear a little bit of a similarity to the Pekingese. Really a favorite of aristocrats. Also made famous in the Men in Black movie. <laughs> And on the table right now, we have the Brussels Griffon. This is Pixie. Pixie is two years old. She's being shown by her owner and handler, Patty Keenan. We often see Brussels Griffon in their rough coat. They come in two different coat varieties. Pixie here is a smooth coat variety, so a shorter, flatter coat than the rough coated variety. Pixie loves to, Pixie loves everybody, but she really loves <laughs> to play with big dogs. Some of her best friends are American Staffordshire Terriers. I feel like little dogs like that, they just never know their size. <laughs> she, Pixie definitely does not <laughs> know her size. This is the miniature pincher right now that we're getting a look at. Miniature pinchers, of course, developed in Germany as hunters and ratters and watchdogs. Well, they do have a great nickname. It's the King of Toys. Very versatile, versatile working dogs. Very independent, self-reliant. If you are just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Marissa Sarbach. We are in West Palm Beach, Florida at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association, about halfway through the toy group here. We're bringing you all seven groups plus best in show. On the table right now is the Manchester Terrier, the toy variety. There's two varieties of Manchester Terriers, and we'll have to look a little bit later on in the Terrier group to see if we have a standard Manchester Terrier, but the toy variety is seen here in the toy group. This is Sunny. Sunny is five years old from Cocoa, Florida. Shown by Madonna Lee, who's also one of her owners. These dogs are extremely loyal with a very strong prey drive. They do make excellent wash dogs. Madonna, or Sunny here, excuse me, has won the national specialty for Manchester Terriers twice. She's also a Canadian champion. And won Best of Variety two years ago at the AKC National Championship in Orlando, Florida in December. One of the very popular toy breeds, this is the Yorkshire Terrier.
Yorkshire Terriers have that characteristic coat with a very specific color to it. They were developed from a few different now extinct terrier breeds, the Clydesdale Terrier, the Old English Terrier, the Waterside Terrier, and the Paisley Terrier. It was back, of course, in Northern England. This is the Havanese on the table right now, the national dog of Cuba. This is Baby. She is two years old, being shown by her handler, Harry Bennett. Now these dogs used to have a few different names, actually. They were previously known as the Havana Silk Dog, the Spanish Silk Poodle, and the Bichon Havanese. But that did breed neared extinction in Cuba back in the 50s. This is the Affin Pincher on the table right now. This is Katie. Katie is just seven months old, another youngster. Being shown by Krista O'Brien. She shares her home with miniature schnauzers and a Doberman Pincher. <laughs> so they've got quite the variety there. And these dogs have existed for over four centuries. They trace that ancestry back to Germany's schnauzers and pinchers. And they've been known as farm dogs for a long time too. Really good with controlling rodents in barns, stables. And here's our first chihuahua in the toy group. First and only chihuahua I believe that we'll see this afternoon. This is the long coat chihuahua. This is Monkey. Monkey is two years old, and he is being shown by his breeder, his owner, and handler, Maureen Peddler. Just recently became a champion. These dogs are extremely intelligent, very fearless. Another one that definitely does not know its size. And that is our last dog here in the toy group. So our judge, Dennis McCoy, will have another look at this beautiful group of toy dogs as he picks a winner. We'll see if he wants to move them again. Yep, it looks like they're each going to go one at a time around the ring. <laughs> Starting with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And there is the Shih Tzu. The English Toy Spaniel went around. There goes the Chinese Crested. the Italian Greyhound. There's the Toy Fox Terrier. The Papillon also went around, followed by the Pug. And there's the Brussels Griffon. Yorkshire Terriers going around. Here's the Affin Pincher. And our last dog, the Long Coat Chihuahua.
Judge Dennis McCoy will now get to pick his winner here in the toy group in West Palm Beach, Florida. Looks like he's going to pull out the miniature pincher, followed by the Manchester Terrier. <laughs> the Shih Tzu. The Brussels Griffon. It looks like that is it. The miniature pincher is the winner of the toy group. So we are just a little over halfway through our way to best in show. That was the completion of the toy group. We're going to be right back in a few moments with the Terrier group here on AKC TV. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. My favorite part about being a breeder is putting that puppy into a person's hands. The relationship between the owner and the breeder is really important. It's something that's ongoing for the life of the dog. Some of them live in my home. Some of them I don't ever want to let go. Running around and playing with dogs all week long, it's nothing better. The most important thing that you're going to want is a healthy dog. When we sell a puppy to a new family, they become part of our family. We're there to help them for the life of the dog. We all want more time quality time to spend on what matters most to us. At the Canine Health Foundation, we're committed to helping dogs live longer, healthier lives. That means more playtime, more walk time, and more love time. Visit us to learn more. Welcome back to the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association here in West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Marissa Sarbach for AKC TV. We just saw the completion of the toy group, which was won by the miniature pincher. Before that, we saw the herding group won by the German shepherd dog. The working group was run, won by the Rottweiler. And the wire-haired Vichla won the sporting group. We are getting set up now for the terrier group, which will be coming up in just a few minutes. We'll have the terrier group, the non-sporting group, and the hound group. After that, followed by best owner handled in show and best in show. We'd love for you to take a look at some of the upcoming events that we have because we have a lot going on. We have the AKC Rally National Championship, Friday, March 15th, the AKC National Obedience Championship, as Saturday and Sunday, March 16th and 17th, the AKC Agility National Championship on Sunday, March 17th, and then the Rally Kennel Club Dog Show Saturday, March 23rd. We have a very busy March. Excited to see it all on AKC TV. A very busy March and a very busy next weekend with Obedience Rally and Agility taking over. Absolutely, that'll be fun to watch. And right now we are waiting on that Terrier group here in West Palm Beach, Florida. You can see our judge getting set there. Our judge for the Terry Group is Ken Chua, here all the way from Malaysia. Terrier Group is just going to come in now. Terrier breeds, of course, rugged, courageous, and very self-sufficient breeds. Most were developed in England centuries ago. They were expected to hunt and eradicate vermin, guard their families' homes, and serve as companions. Modern-day Terriers still retain those same features. They are vigilant and fearless. And if you're just joining us, we're looking at the Terrier group right now, We've just entered the ring. We have seen the toy group, won by the miniature pincher, the herding group, won by the German shepherd dog, 
the working group won by the Rottweiler and the sporting group won by the wired haired Vishla. Our judge is going to walk down the line of terriers, get an initial impression for all of them. And if you're joining us on Facebook, we would love for you to check out akc.tv as well. That's our website, and we have all of our content on demand. So if you missed anything from today's show, any other groups that you wanted to see that maybe already went, or just an event that already happened that you weren't able to make or watch, any of our shows, all of that is on demand on akc.tv. Our, our first dog up in the terrier group is the American Staffordshire Terrier. This is Fuego. He is two and a half years old from Sandy Springs, Georgia. Being shown by Elisa Sari. These Ameri dogs are very sociable and extremely loyal, but can be very protective of their families. Great family companions. Fuego has a constant wagging tail here in the Terry group this afternoon, so he's excited to be here. Very, very strong, powerful breed. We love seeing happy dogs in the ring. He is very happy. <laughs> and this is the Kerry Blue Terrier on the screen right now a breed developed in Ireland. This is Charm. Charm is three years old from Sebring, Florida, being shown by Blake Hansen tonight. Kerry Blue Terriers are actually born black, and then their color gradually fades to this blue color that we see here on Charm. And these dogs are closely related to the English, or excuse me, the Irish Terrier and the soft-coated Wheaton. And oh. they get their name after County Kerry in England, in Ireland. Excuse me, I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> because so many of these Terrier breeds were developed yes. in England. <laughs> Kerry Blues, of course, in Ireland. And these dogs are really versatile, too. The Kerrys trained often as assistance dogs, therapy dogs, and then search and rescue dogs. And our next dog up in the terrier group is the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. This is Pippa, a youngster again, just seven months old. She is being shown by her breeder, owner, and handler, Sandra Ross. Just her second show weekend. seems to be having a great time and enjoying all of it. <laughs> Soft-coated wheat interiors have a very specific coat texture. They have that soft, wavy coat that we see here on Pippa. Different than a lot of the terrier breeds. These dogs are a really great all-purpose farm dog related closely to that Kerry Blue Terry we just saw, as well as that Irish Terrier. We're looking at the American Hairless Terrier right now as our ring gets set up with the table for the American Hairless Terrier to go up on for our judge, Ken Chua, all the way here from Malaysia. The American Hairless Terrier is Kai. Kai is 20 months old from Richmond Hill, Georgia. Being shown by Erica Lanasa. So if you're in the market for a breed that requires <laughs> very little grooming, <laughs> American Hairless Terriers are a great option. I'm really great for people with allergy issues. Very lively, very intelligent. And 
and they're usually getting along really well with young kids as well. Kai is also competes in Diving Dog. Was the best of breed winner at the AKC National Championship in December in Orlando and the Westminster Kennel Club last month as well. This is the rat terrier on the table right now. The rat terrier is Diesel. Diesel is just a year old from nearby Orlando, Florida. These are traditionally a farm dog, often used as a watchdog, a ratter, and a hunting dog too. Another very athletic breed that mm -hmm. does well in many dog sports, but a more moderate activity level than some of the other terriers. They're great jumpers, so <laughs> you want to have a good fence or a really good leash. dog in the terrier group is the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Staffordshire Bull Terrier is another one of those bull breeds that very powerful muscular breed. This is Quissy. He, she is a year and a half old. These dogs, of course, originated in Staffordshire, England. Very tough, versatile, all-purpose dog. Very playful, robust mm -hmm. breed. Very high energy level. And they really need some consistent positive training. Make sure you give them plenty of exercise, too. And this is the Manchester Terrier on the table right now. So we saw the Toy Manchester Terrier in the toy group. I mentioned that there are two varieties. The standard is shown here in the Terrier group. Same breed, same written standard, just different varieties based on their size. This is Max. He is three years old from Coco, Florida. Being shown by Madonna Lee, who also showed the Toy Manchester Terrier in the toy group. And these dogs are excellent watchdogs. Very quick-witted and have such a strong prey drive. They were actually the oldest documented terrier breed. Originally developed as the premier rat hunter. Always come in this very striking black and tan color. Max here just finished his championship recently. Smooth Fox Terrier that our judge is going over right now. This is Lena. She is two years old from Brooksville, Florida. A multiple group winner. Fox Terriers were developed to work with hounds out in the hunt. They were developed back in England by British hunt kennels. They were really used in combination with foxhounds for hunting. Also, general vermin control in the horse barns. And 
We are about halfway through the Terrier Group here in West Palm Beach, Florida at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. I'm Bill Ellis, and I am here with Marissa Sarbeck for AKC TV. This is our fifth group of the day. We started the day off with the sporting group, where we saw the wire-haired Vishla win the sporting group. The Rottweiler won the working group. The German Shepherd Dog won the herding group. And then we just saw the miniature Pincher win the toy group a little while ago. So we're working our way toward best in show. We will also be bringing you best owner handled in, in show as well. This is the border terrier on the table right now. The border terrier's Dragon. from Tucker, Georgia. He's just a year old. And this breed was developed on the border of England and Scotland, and it's considered one of Britain's oldest terriers. Often described as rugged, resourceful, and they are small enough to squeeze into a foxhole, but large enough to keep up with a horse. They have that very characteristic otter head that we see there on Dragon. And this is the Dandy Dinmont Terrier on the table right now. This is Bolt. Bolt is just 10 months old, another youngster from Jensen Beach, Florida. Bolt is being shown by Shannon Johnson, who's also one of his owners. Dandy Dinmonts have a very unique coat texture. They have a harsher, coarser coat on their back that you see there, but the longer hair is a little bit softer in texture. And dandies were first shown in Britain back in the 1800s, and then recognized by the AKC in the late 1800s. Today, they are actually considered one of the rarest breeds. Lower and longer than some of the other terriers, so a little bit of a different make and shape. And how did they become famous, Bill? They are the only breed named after a fictional <laughs> character. Named after a character in Guy Mannering, a novel by Walter Scott. And on the table right now is the Sky Terrier. Sky Terrier is another youngster, or excuse me, not a youngster. This is Sammy. He's eight years old, a veteran of the show ring from Wellington, Florida. Sky Terriers are long, low, and level, so they have a longer build, lower to the ground, and very level. You they should have very level top lines. They have this coat that helps protect them from the elements so they can work outside in any weather. And they have very, very, very powerful front legs, well, all legs, to help them dig. Very powerful. Which really helps them because this breed was used for centuries to hunt vermin underground. And they developed on Scotland's Isle of Skye. They're considered one of the rarest terrier breeds in England and America today. So I have to apologize. I said earlier that the Dandy Demont Terrier was Bolt, and that was not Bolt. That was Gabe. Gabe is three years old from Orlando, Florida, with his owner and handler, Anita Simpson. And right now we're looking at the Bedlington Terrier. Bedlington Terrier here is Marina, nine months old, from Miami, Florida. She's being shown by Tess Oliver. This breed has such a recognizable look, Bill. Very unique build, so they have 
that curve over their back that you see, very similar to some sight hounds, makes them very, very fast and very agile. They can turn on a dime. Pedlingtons were great as vermin hunters back in England in the early 1800s. And here is Bolt, the Russell Terrier, 10 months old from Jensen Beach, Florida with his handler, Shannon Johnson. Russell Terrier's very high activity level, energetic breed. A great dog for an active family. They really need lots of exercise. And that energy and the versatility can really be channeled successfully into a lot of our, a lot of our dog sports. And this is the Norfolk Terrier on the table. This is Ava. Ava is 18 months old from Lakeland, Florida. Being shown by her owner, Terry Smith. You know, that protective outer coat is very hard, wiry, and straight. Very weather resistant. Very similar to most of the terriers in the terrier group that have that harsh coat. <laughs> Ava's checking out the treat that fell on the ground there. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> now we have our final dog in the terrier group here, the miniature schnauzer. This is Junior. Junior is 15 months old from Sarasota, Florida with his breeder, owner, and handler, Marie Pletch. Miniature schnauzers come in a few different colors. This is the black and silver color that we see here. I'm back in the 1800s. They really wanted to create basically a smaller version of the standard schnauzer, so they crossed it with the Avon Pinchers and Poodles. And that was back in Europe in the 1800s. And that's how we got this miniature schnauzer. One of the few terrier breeds not originating in England. Miniature schnauzers, of course, came from Germany. Very versatile, independent little workers. We really have to invest some time into training them as well. <laughs> Our judge is going to have another look at these beautiful terriers in the terrier group. And we have seen a few groups before the terrier group. We did see the toy group, the herding group, the working group, and the sporting group earlier this afternoon. This will finish up our fifth group of the day. Our judges Ken Chua all the way from Malaysia. He's gonna walk back down the line and just have another look at all these terriers that he's gone over and seen individually. If you're just joining us on 
Facebook, thank you very much for doing so. But make sure you check us out on akc.tv for all of our content and to see if you missed anything from today. just joining us we are in West Palm Beach Florida for the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association our judges right now looking at the terrier group looks like he's gonna pull out some of these terriers to have another look at starting with the American Staffordshire Terrier Kerry Blue Terrier and American Hairless Terrier followed by the Smooth Fox Terrier the Dandy Dinmont Terrier the Border Terriers coming out and the Sky Terrier. That's quite a decent sized short list, right, Bill? It is. Lots of beautiful Terriers for her, our judge to have another look at. All winners at this point, but he'll have to decide who he thinks is the best Terrier today. time again it looks like starting with the American Staffordshire Terrier there goes the Kerry Blue Terrier this is just a great chance for our judge to get another look at these dogs before he makes that final decision there goes the American Hairless Terrier Smooth Fox Terrier. The Border Terrier. There's the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, gonna go around. And the Sky Terrier. And now our judge gets to pick a winner. Dandy Dinmont out. Looks like we might be working in reverse order here. So he's pulled the Dandy Dinmont out for fourth, the Sky Terrier for third, the Smooth Fox Terrier for second. We're going to have this remaining group go around again while he selects his winner, building up a little suspense here. <laughs> And the winner is the American Staffordshire Terrier, Fuego. And that concludes our Terrier group. Once again, the winner is the American Staffordshire Terrier, followed by the Smooth Fox Terrier. The Sky Terrier was third, and fourth is the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Two more groups to go on our way to Best in Show. We're going to be right back in a few moments with the non-sporting group. about being a breeder is putting that puppy into a person's hands. The relationship between the owner and breeder is really important. It's something that's ongoing for the life of the dog. Some of them live in my home. Some of them I don't ever want to let go. Running around and playing with dogs all week long, it's nothing better. The most important thing that you're going to want is a healthy dog. When we sell a puppy to a new family, they become part of our family. 
We're there to help them for the life of the dog. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free. Made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live. Only on AKC TV. Welcome back to West Palm Beach, Florida. We're here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. I am Bill Ellis here with Marissa Sarbeck for AKC TV. We have seen five groups so far this afternoon. We saw the Terrier group just end with the American Staffordshire Terrier, the winner. We saw the Miniature Pincher win the Toy Group. The German Shepherd Dog won the Herding Group. The Rottweiler won the Working Group. And the Wirehaired Vichla won the Sporting Group. We have two more groups to go on our way to Best in Show. We will also be bringing you Best Owner Handled in Show. So we're just getting set here for the non-sporting group, which will get started in just a few minutes. We want to show you what is coming up on our schedule here at AKC TV. So take a look at your screen. First, we have the AKC Rally National Championship on Friday, March 15th. The AKC National Obedience Championship, Saturday and Sunday, March 16th and 17th. Then the AKC Agility National Championship on Sunday, March 17th. And the Rally Kennel Club Dog Show on Saturday, March 23rd. We have a very busy month coming up. We're excited to be covering all of it. You can watch everything live and exclusively on akc.tv. You see that right there on your screen? Just go to akc.tv slash events. And we have a lot on our website as well. So you can check us out on Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV. We also just launched our mobile app. Very excited that we have that. I have it downloaded on my phone, and you should too. We have all of our great content right there for you, right on your cell phone. You can take it with you wherever you go. And again, if you're just tuning in, I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. Thank you so much for joining us. So we're just getting set to start the non-sporting group here in a few moments with our judge, Dennis McCoy. You see him there. He's just getting his judges bookmarked and getting ready to go. And I know we remind everybody of this all the time that we are on as well, but I just want to remind everybody again to use that hashtag, this is AKC. Whenever you're posting pictures of your dog, we want to see them. Bill and I look at that hashtag. You can follow it on Instagram. AKC and AKC TV use that hashtag. I use that hashtag. I love it. So here comes the non-sporting group. AKC originally classified breeds into two groups, sporting and non-sporting. And the other groups broke off from there. And what we have left over is the non-sporting group. So a collection of many, many different breeds, all sorts of shapes and sizes, different jobs, lots of history. Our judge is just walking down the line to get an initial impression of all these dogs in the non-sporting group. And we'll get started here in just a moment. First dog up in the non-sporting group is the standard poodle. 
poodles are shown in three different varieties. Standard, miniature, and toy. The standard and the miniature are shown here in the non-sporting group. This is Brody. He is three years old from DeLand, Florida with his breeder, owner, and handler, Joyce Corelli. Bill, talk to us about the cut on this poodle because we know it's a little bit different grooming for the show ring versus everyday life. It is. So you'll see here that there's um, what we call the continental clip. This is actually the modified continental clip on Brody. And those puffs that you see in that hair on his body were designed to help protect their joints and their vital organs when poodles were out hunting in the cold water. So it serves a very specific purpose. And this is the Dalmatian, next up in the non-sporting group. This is Rosie. Rosie is three years old, another international dog. She's originally from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Being shown by Milton Lopez. And this is a really recognizable breed, but the Dalmatian's early origins are actually pretty uncertain. Rosie people. here, sorry Marissa, no, Rosie here is a multiple best in show winner in America and in Brazil. And this is the Sholo Eats Quintly that our judge Dennis McCoy is going to go over next. This is Zorro. Zorro is three years old from Pompano Beach, Florida. Being shown by Pino Renzulli. One of Zorro's favorite snacks is whipped cream from the can. <laughs> <laughs> Fun facts like that are my favorite. You know, this dog evolved in western Mexico about 3,000 years ago. And that very interesting name derived from the name of an Aztec Indian god. Next up in the non-sporting group is the Bichon Frise. Just getting the table set up for the Bichon to go up on. The Bichon Frise here is Rain. Rain is 16 months old. She's from Dallas. With her breeder, owner, and handler, Paulette Rollins. And this breed originated in the Mediterranean, where it was likely developed from early water spaniels. It gained popularity back in the 14th century really a prized pet of Italian nobility, and then it made its way to France as well. Where the French loved it as well, same thing, French nobility. Next up in the non-sporting group is our second poodle. This is the miniature poodle. The miniature poodle is Delta. Delta is two years old with his owner and handler, Nicole Munecki. A multiple best in show winner and has won the ver miniature poodle variety at the last two Westminster Kennel Club dog shows. So the exact same written standard for the two poodles that we have here in the non-sporting group. They're just shown in different varieties based on their size. Also really great for people with allergies because poodles do not shed. Yep, very, very minimal shedding. So they are a great choice for people who have allergies and <laughs> just don't want to have a lot of hair on the house. <laughs> we get it. This is the Coton de Tuliar, a breed originally from Madagascar. 
This is Allie. Allie is eight and a half years old from Cape Coral, Florida. Allie also works as a therapy dog. And her daughter was the number one Paton de Tuliar last year in 2018. I'm sure she makes a great therapy dog. Who wouldn't love to have a visit from Allie? And these dogs also known as the royal dog of Madagascar. Very social butterfly. Very sweet dogs. And this is the Boston Terrier that we're looking at right now. An all-American breed. Developed right here in this country. Came from a combination of bulldogs and white English terriers. That first came to Massachusetts after the Civil War. Boston Terriers are described as dapper and charming. They, nick they earned the nickname of American Gentlemen. That's very fitting. Very fitting, especially they have that distinct color pattern, which sort of has that tuxedo <laughs> look to it, right? Yes, it does. Makes them look very dapper. We are about halfway through the non-sporting group here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association in West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm Bill Ellis, and I am here with Marissa Sarbeck for AKC TV. We're on our sixth group of the day, the non-sporting group, being judged by Dennis McCoy. Right now, we're looking at the French Bulldog on the table. Very popular breed. Frenchies have increased in popularity each year. Last year, they actually broke into the top five most popular breeds in this country. This is Houdini. Houdini is three years old from Loxahatchee, Florida. See, when you grow up in Florida, you can say Loxahatchee, no problem. I was going to say the that's Italian a tough one for me. accent <laughs> tripped me up, but that was no problem. <laughs> These Frenchies are really well behaved, very sweet, very affectionate disposition. Which is why they've become so popular and mm -hmm. also really popular in smaller spaces and as apartment dogs. I feel like we see so many of in them New around York the streets City. of New York, yep. right? That's what I was thinking. We've had a few of them on our Ask the Expert show. We're looking at the K's Hound on the screen right now. Just getting the ramp set up for the Kazan to go up on for our judge Dennis McCoy here in the non-sporting group. This breed does share some of that heritage with other European Spitz breeds such as the Pomeranian and the Finnish Spitz. This is Granite. Granite is five years old all the way from Alaska. Of course, since we are in Florida and it is March, and that just makes <laughs> me wonder uh, once again if Granite is a snowbird. Not a bad decision. Not, it's a very <laughs> good decision. Being shown by his handler, Robin Height, a best in show winner. These dogs make great watchdogs, but they are noted for that loud bark. It's a vocal trait that must be properly channeled, otherwise you're going to have excessive barking. And this is the Chinese Sharpay up next. Chinese Sharpays have those characteristic wrinkles and they have a blue-black tongue, one of two breeds, along with the Chow Chow that have to have a blue-black tongue. And they have a very unique uh, feel and texture to their coat. It almost feels a little bit like sandpaper. And these dogs do require a little bit of grooming too. You have to clean the lip folds every day. Make sure you're checking that, that skin in the coat. Yep, you have to take care of all that. 
These dogs are an ancient Chinese breed dating back to the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago. They do closely resemble that Chinese breed, the Chow Chow, as well. And this is the bulldog that our judge is going over right now. Very popular, recognizable breed. Popular mascot, too. Lots of colleges and universities that have bulldogs as mascots. This is JJ. He is seven months, excuse me, seven years old from Port St. Lucie, Florida, being shown by Byron Kay, his breeder and owner. Not only are they the official mascot for many of our schools and universities, but actually the official mascot of the U.S. Marine Corps. And our final dog in the non-sporting group is the Chow Chow. This is Cassie. She is 21 months old from Ohio. Like I mentioned earlier, another the other breed that has to have a solid blue-black tongue, like the Chinese Sharpei. The Chow Chow's one of the world's oldest breeds. And that existence can date back to China's Han Dynasty and even earlier than that. Originally used as a hunting dog in China. And that is it for the non-sporting group. Our judge, Dennis McCoy, is going to walk down the line and have another look at all of these non-sporting dogs as he figures out who the winner will be. He's going to have them each go one at a time around the ring. So he has another chance to look at them all. Starting with the standard poodle. Followed by the Dalmatian. The Sholowitz Quintley went around, and now we're looking at the Bichon Frise. followed by the miniature poodle. What exactly is our judge looking for here, Bill? Well, this just gives him a chance to think about all the things that he saw and felt when each dog was doing their individual, right? He had his hands on them. He got to see each of them move down and back and around. So this gives him a chance to remember all the things that he saw and felt that first time as he thinks through who his winner will be. There goes the Kazan around, followed by the Chinese Sharpei. Comes the bulldog. And our last dog in the non sporting group, the Chow Chow. And so we could see our judge either pull a short list or he could know what he wants in his order right now. And I think since he had them each go around one at a time again, he will have made a decision. The miniature poodle is going to get pulled out first. Followed by the Boston Terrier. The standard poodle. The Kazan. And that is it. The miniature poodle is the winner of the non-sporting group. Congratulations, Delta. Followed by the Boston Terrier, who is second. The Standard Poodle is third, and the Kazand is fourth. We will be right back with our final group of the afternoon. The Hound Group is coming up next.
about being a breeder is putting that puppy into a person's hands. The relationship between the owner and the breeder is really important. It's something that's ongoing for the life of the dog. Some of them live in my home. Some of them I don't ever want to let go. Running around and playing with dogs all week long, it's nothing better. The most important thing that you're going to want is a healthy dog. When we sell a puppy to a new family, they become part of our family. We're there to help them for the life of the dog. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free. Made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. Welcome back. We are live on AKC TV here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Nice and sunny, West Palm Beach, Florida, I might add. Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association is well underway here. We are waiting on our last group. So far today, we have seen the sporting group, won by the wire-haired Vishla, the working group, won by the Rottweiler, the herding group, won by the German Shepherd Dog, the toy group, won by the miniature Pincher, the terrier group, won by the American Staffordshire Terrier, the non-sporting group, won by the miniature Poodle, and coming up, we are waiting on the hound group. Very busy day here in West Palm Beach, Florida. For those of you just joining us now, thank you so much for doing so. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are from AKC TV. Very excited to be here with you. Very happy to be here with you in beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. As Marissa mentioned, we've seen the first six groups judged, waiting on our hound group to get underway here in a few moments. And we do want you to take a look if we can at our schedule of what's coming up here on AKC TV because we have a lot coming up. I'll pull it up for you in just a minute. There you go, right on your screen. First up, we have the AKC Rally National Championship on Friday, March 15th. Then after that, we have the AKC National Obedience Championship Saturday and Sunday, March 16th and 17th. The AKC Agility National Championship Sunday, March 17th followed by the Rally Kennel Club Dog Show, Saturday, March 23rd. So as I'm sure you've guessed, AKC TV is going to be very busy this month and this year. We have so many dog shows. We're excited for you to see them all on AKC TV. Here comes the Hound Group into the group ring now to get underway. Hounds are the world's oldest specialized hunting dogs. They've been documented for thousands of years, divided into two categories, sight hounds and scent hounds. Of course, sight hounds use their eyesight to hunt. Scent hounds use their very powerful noses. Hound breeds vary drastically in size, shape, and proportion they, and coat type, all the way from the very tall Irish wolfhound to the very small dachshund. Our judge for the Hound Group is Ken Chua again, who we saw a few moments ago judge the Terrier Group. He's here all the way from Malaysia. And this Hound Group is the seventh of the day. Remember we have seen the non-sporting group, the Terrier Group, the Toy Group, the herding group, the working group, and the sporting group. First up in the hound group is the Afghan hound. The Afghan hound here is Stevie. She is three years old from Ocala, Florida. Being shown by Milton Lopez this afternoon. 
a multiple group winner, one of the top Afghan hounds in the country. This is an ancient sighthound and really one of the world's oldest breeds. We have a wonderful episode of Meet the Breeds all about the Afghan hound. Those are our breed documentaries on APC TV, so you can look for those under the series tab. We're always working on new documentaries that feature different breeds. Next up is the Ibethan Hound, of course developed on the island of Ibiza. This is Audrey. Audrey's two and a half years old. Also from Ocala, Florida, just like the Afghan Hound. Being shown by Rene Rosamalia. Audrey also competes in lure coursing, which is a sport specifically for sight hounds. They chase a lure, it mimics what they were bred to do, which is chase prey. They run a course. Very, very beautiful to watch when you get to see these very athletic hounds in action. We actually covered the lure coursing national championship last year on AKC TV, so you can find that and learn a little bit about lure coursing and, and that beautiful event. I do also have to add in there, we have a, uh, a puppy in our AKC puppy pack that's an abusing hound. Oh, that's he is right. Adorable. If you're not following the puppy pack, you need to make sure you go over to Instagram, follow the American Kennel Club. The hashtag is at American Kennel Club. You can al also follow the hashtag puppy pack yep hashtag akc puppy pack and you can follow that on instagram so you see all of the puppy pictures i know i follow the hashtag those puppies are cute next up in the hound group is the pharaoh hound this is zeta she is five years old being shown by shannon wilson who is also her owner another dog that competes in lure coursing She's multi she is a multiple best in field winner, which means that she won the field, won the lure coursing trial. Now the Pharaoh Hounds have existed as hunting dogs in the Mediterranean for over 2,000 years, but there's really no consensus on to how they got there or when they got there. But they are identical to the hunting dogs that were depicted in Egyptian art over 5,000 years ago. This is the Rhodesian Ridgeback that our judge is going over right now. Of course, you can get a little bit of a look there at that ridge along the back. It's a strip of hair that runs the opposite direction. This is Voodoo. She is 17 months old from here in West Palm Beach, Florida, hometown girl, being shown by Cassandra Carpenter. I know we're probably not supposed to announce our favorites, but I just love Rhodesian <laughs> Ridgeback. They we are can have a favorite, <laughs> they are my right? favorite breed. We They're so beautiful. We can totally so have a favorite. <laughs> Developed in South Africa. And they're used to hunt lions. Very strong dogs. And this is the Ozawak up next. AKC's newest breed, recognized just January 1st. Azawaks are an ancient breed developed in Northern Africa. Now they're very calm indoors, but they really do have so much energy and they need to be taken on either long walks or taken to very securely fenced in areas for daily activities. Mm -hmm. We're getting our first look at the Whippet up next as our ring gets set up with the table for the Whippet.
Whip. It's a very, very athletic breed. Very, very fast. They resemble the larger Greyhound, but a very distinct breed. This is Rio. Rio is almost two years old, just under. He is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, being shown by his owner, Melissa Epstein. These dogs are extremely gentle, very friendly and affectionate. They do really well as companions. And they can do well with really a range of lifestyles. And we did see a wh Whippet, Whiskey the Whippet, win at the AKC National Championship. That's right. Whiskey had an amazing weekend in December. He was best in show at the AKC National Championship, also best bred by in show, as well as best in show at two of the dog shows leading up to the national championship so and you were able to interview his owner after they won i was that was exciting and now we've had the chance to meet bourbon a couple times mm -hmm. whiskey's sister at our dog show coverage and we're getting a look here at rio the whippet in west palm beach florida if you're just joining us i'm bill ellis i am here with marissa sarback and we are at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. We've been working our way through the seven groups on our way to Best in Show. We're on our final group of the afternoon, the Hound Group, being judged by Ken Chua from Malaysia. We will have Best Owner handled after this, followed by Best in Show. We're looking at the Basenji right now. This is Josefina. She is two years old from Miami, Florida. Has competed internationally. She was the number one Basenji in Colombia. This Basenji originated as a general purpose hunting dog back in Central Africa. That's what even back in the mid 1900s, and then they were seen in North America just after that. And here is our first beagle in the hound group, the big beagle. Beagles come in two size varieties, so exact same standard. They're just shown in two different height varieties. So the big beagle, as we call them, are 13 to 15 inches. This is Logan. He is four years old. Logan's being shown by Aaron Wilkerson. Logan has come here from Argentina. He was the number one dog in Argentina in 2018. Aaron has a long history of showing top winning beagles, including Uno, who was the first best in, uh, beagle to win best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club. And most beagles really enjoy our dog sports, like fly ball. It gives them a chance to utilize that instinctive prey drive. They are great hunting dogs. Remember, if you've missed any of today's live coverage, you can always go back and watch your favorite moment on demand. Our team works very hard to get all of that available to you on demand as quickly as possible. And you can go back and watch any of your favorite moments from the events that we cover on AKC TV. Just visit our website, which is akc.tv, or check out our apps. So we have apps available on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. We also have a recently launched mobile app. So you can find the mobile app in the App Store on your iPhones as well as Google Play on Android devices. We're getting a look at the little beagle right now. So we saw the big beagle before, who is between 13 and 15 inches. Little beagles are smaller than 13 inches. This is Chase. Chase is 20 months old from Bradenton, Florida, and is being shown by Lisa Sari. Beagles are definitely one of the more popular breeds, often used as therapy dogs and even detection dogs, too. And 
on the table right now is the Portuguese Padango Pequeno. Originating in Portugal. This is Jenny. Jenny is three years old. She's from Coral Springs, Florida. Being shown by Mara Powell. Portuguese Padango Pequeno actually come in a two different coat varieties, smooth and wire. So we're looking at the wire coat here, which is longer and harsher, helps protect them when they're out hunting. They have been known in the Mediterranean for many centuries. Yeah, and this breed was developed to hunt game in Portugal's very harsh terrain. And Padango roughly translates to rabbit hunter or warren hound. Now our first of three dachshunds. There are three different dachshund varieties, all the same breed, same written standard, just judged in three different varieties based on their coat type. So our first dachshund on the table that you see right now is the long-haired dachshund. This is Hamilton. He is 19 months old from Bradenton, Florida being shown by Jen Ducharn. So the long-haired variety that we see here is a combination of a glossy, usually slightly wavy body coat and longer coat on the neck, fore chest, ears, and tail. This breed originates from Germany and was originally developed to hunt game from badgers all the way to wild boar. So they're pretty courageous. They are. <laughs> they have to be pretty courageous to go after yeah. the badger, I and think. And such a little dog, too. And here is the smooth-coated chihuahua. Excuse me, not chihuahua, dachshund. smooth coat dachshund. This is Ronnie. She is two years old from Gainesville, Florida. Being shown by Sophia Pierce. Now all of the varieties of the dachshunds have really remained popular as pets, show dogs, and hunting dogs throughout their time. These dogs are extremely intelligent and really highly attuned to their environment. And our final dog in the hound group is the last of the three dachshunds, the wire-haired dachshund. This is Lil Joe. He <laughs> is two years old from Boynton Beach, Florida. It is handler Walter Cunningham. The wire-haired variety that we see here has a short, hard, wiry outer coat. You can really see it there on little Joe with his little whiskers and eyebrows, that beard. Very cute. <laughs> when this dog was created, hunters really wanted to create a versatile, sturdy, courageous dog with the skills of both the hounds and the terriers. And that's how we got to the dachshunds. And that's our final dog in the hound group. Our judge, Ken Chua, from Malaysia, will get to pick a winner from these beautiful hounds as they get themselves set back up. Gonna just walk down the line, have another look at all these beautiful hounds in the hound group here. Once again, this is our final group of the afternoon. We will have best owner handled in best in show, followed by best in show. So our 
our judge is going to make a short list here. Looks like he's going to pull out some of his favorites, starting with the Afghan Hound, followed by the Whippet, the Basenji, the Big Beagle, the Long-Haired Dachshund, and the Smooth Dachshund. Each of these beautiful dogs go around one at a time. Another chance to look at them and remember all the things that he felt and saw when he went over each of them individually. So we'll have to see if our judge works fourth to first here like he did before. Yeah. All right, it looks like our judge has made some decisions here. He's having the whip it pulled out for fourth. The Basenji next for third. The Smooth Dachshund for second. Got three dogs left to choose from for first and he's gonna have the three of them go around together. And the Afghan Hound is the winner of the Hound Group. Congratulations to Stevie the Afghan Hound. Second was the Smooth Dachshund. Third is the Basenji. And fourth is the Whippet. Just a reminder, we have Best Owner Handled in Show next, followed by Best in Show. We will be right back here on AKC TV. AKC TV. The digital network for all things dogs brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. My favorite part about being a breeder is putting that puppy into a person's hands. The relationship between the owner and the breeder is really important. It's something that's ongoing for the life of the dog. Some of them live in my home. Some of them I don't ever want to let go. Running around and playing with dogs all week long, it's nothing better. The most important thing that you're going to want is a healthy dog. When we sell a puppy to a new family, they become part of our family. We're there to help them for the life of the dog. We all want more time quality time to spend on what matters most to us. At the Canine Health Foundation, we're committed to helping dogs live longer, healthier lives. That means more playtime, more walk time, and more love time. Visit us to learn more. 
Welcome back to West Palm Beach, Florida. We are very excited to be bringing you the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association live here in Florida. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. There is a special presentation that uh, the Kennel Club here is doing, and we're going to take another quick break, bring you a special video about the AKC Star Puppy Program, and then be back in just a moment for Best Owner Handled in Show. Welcome to the AKC Star Puppy Program. Star stands for socialization, training, activity, and responsibility. The AKC Star Puppy Program is a scientifically sound, positive reinforcement-based training program. This six-week program consists of one hour-long class per week with a hands-on instructor. At the beginning of the program, you will notice that puppies in the class are wonderful, but kind of wild. The Star Puppy Program is important because you and your puppy will learn new important skills. Your puppy will become socialized with both people and other dogs and will have a decreased chance of developing behavioral problems later in life. And the biggest reason of all, the Star Puppy Program will increase the bond between you and your puppy. The Star Puppy classes will focus on three main areas. First, people skills, where owners are taught to maintain their puppy's health with routine vet care and exams and to clean up after their puppy, never letting their pup infringe on the rights of others. Second, puppy skills, where aspiring star puppies are taught to avoid aggression towards other dogs and people, how to be comfortable wearing a collar or harness, how to be comfortable receiving close human contact, like holding or hugging, and how not to be too possessive or territorial with toys or treats. Third, your budding star puppy will get a head start on very important AKC canine good citizen behaviors. These include becoming comfortable being pet by people other than her owner, tolerating grooming, walking on a leash, walking past people at least five feet away, learning simple commands like sit, down, and come, learning not to be agitated by common distractions, and becoming comfortable on a leash with another person as her owner walks up to 10 feet away. After you and your puppy successfully complete this important yet extremely fun and rewarding training program, your puppy officially becomes an AKC star graduate, complete with a gold medal and certificate from the AKC. But perhaps best of all, your star will become well behaved and even more of a joy to be with. Go for the gold and make your puppy a star. For more information, Visit akc.org slash starpuppy today. And welcome back. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida for the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Right now we are in the best owner handled in show. Our judge is taking first look at these dogs. Our judge is James Conroy from Marietta, Georgia. So all of these dogs competed in the breed competition earlier with every other dog, but they also competed in the National Owner Handled Series, which is a series created just for folks who show their own dogs. So no professional handlers here. They then went on to compete in the Owner Handled Series groups, and now we have the seven winners from those groups earlier. Our first dog up is the Doberman Pinscher. <laughs> Doberman Pinscher takes its name from Carl Louis Doberman, a tax collector who began developing the breed in Germany in the 1880s. His goal was to create an intelligent and reliable guard dog that was equally valued as a companion. I think he accomplished that quite well. And our next breed up, best owner handled, is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And these are one of America's native breeds. And they do really well in the water. They really love dog sports. They also enjoy hiking, swimming, and jogging. That protective double coat is really what helps them when they're swimming. Yeah, very specific coat type and texture here. The outer coat is 
harsh and wavy and oily. The undercoat is dense, fine, and woolly. The really is water repellent. Allows the Chesapeake Bay Retriever to work well as a hunting companion in the water. And this is the Cary Blue Terrier. Originating in County Kerry in Ireland. V very closely related to the Irish Terrier and the soft-coated Wheaton. As we mentioned earlier, Kerry Blue Terrier puppies are born black and they, have, they develop this blue color as they get a little older. Just as a reminder, you're watching Best Owner Handled in Show. We've seen all seven regular groups judged, and we will be bringing you Best in Show next. We saw the Wirehaired Vishla win the Sporting Group, the Rottweiler win the Working Group, the German Shepherd won the Herding Group, the Miniature Pincher won the Toy Group, American Stafford Terrier, Terrier won the Terrier Group, the Miniature Poodle won the non-sporting group, and then we finally just saw the Afghan Hound win the Hound group. Our judge is about to go over the Chow Chow right now in best owner handled in show. A native Chinese breed with that very characteristic blue-black tongue. And these dogs date back from the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago or possibly even earlier. And they were originally used as a hunting dog and they are one of the world's oldest breeds. Often noted for that regal demeanor. Chow Chows are very devoted to their families. They can be a little quiet and aloof sometimes with strangers, but they make great family companions. Next up in best owner handled in show is the Whippet from the Hound Group. Whippets, of course, resemble the larger Greyhounds, but they are very distinct breeds emerging centuries ago. And as we said earlier, we did see a Whippet win at the AKC National Championship back in December. That was Whiskey the Whippet. Whippets were traditionally used for poaching, rabbit coursing, and, and most of all racing. They are incredibly athletic and speedy and agile. And our final dog in best owner handled in show on the table right now is the Shih Tzu. Another Chinese breed. 
They were sent to China as gifts from Byzantium during the Tang Dynasty. They were bred at the Imperial Kennels for centuries. And they became the favorite breed of the royal family during the Ming Dynasty. A very popular breed. They make great companions and family dogs. If you're just joining us on AKC TV, thank you so much for doing so. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida for the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Right now we are looking at the best owner handled in show. That's our last dog and best owner handled in show. So don't go anywhere. We have best in show coming up next. But before we get there, our judge James Conroy gets to pick best owner handled in show on this beautiful group of dogs. All part of the national owner handled series. We actually get to see the national owner handled series at finals during the AKC National Championship in Orlando, Florida in December. So everyone's working for different ranking points so that they can be in invited to compete in Orlando for the finals. Looks like our judge is going to just have them each go around one at a time again for another look at all of these dogs. There goes the Doberman Pinscher. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever went around, and there's the Kerry Blue Terrier. We, there, there's the Chow Chow, followed by the Whippet. And our last dog and best owner handled and best in show is the Shih Tzu. So our judge will go back and he will mark his book with the winner. And then he'll come out and give his award. And for those of us just those of us just joining, Bill, can you explain the difference between a regular best in show and this best owner handled in show? Yep, so all of these dogs competed with um, everyone else in the breed competition this morning, and they also competed for the owner handled award so they're all being shown by their owners and then they competed in the owner handled groups and these are the group winners competing for best owner handled in show all competing in the AKC national owner handled series our judge will award two awards he will award reserve Best owner handled in show, and then best owner handled in show. Looks like the Shih Tzu is reserved. Best owner handled in show. And best owner handled in show. Goes to the Whippet. So congratulations to the Whippet and the Shih Tzu. Best in show and reserve best in show owner handle here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. We're gonna get set up for best in show and be back in just a moment for the conclusion of our day. There are certain breeds that are gonna be great apartment dogs if you live in New York City. There's gonna be other breeds that are fabulous working dogs for you if you're out on a ranch. He is my best friend. AKC.org is the best place to start because 
They have all the information about any breed you can think of. What's not to love about this place? <laughs> Home. Home is where family comes together. Home is where you go to relax. Home is where you feel secure. With the AKC line of premium pet products, you can rest assured that your pet feels safe and secure in their home too. AKC, because every home deserves a good dog and every dog deserves a good home. AKC Secure Pet Living Products, available at The Home Depot. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. Welcome back to the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. We are well underway here. I'm Marissa Sarbeck here with Bill Ellis from AKC TV. We are live in West Palm Beach, Florida. Happy to be here for our last but not least best in show. And the dogs look like they are just entering the ring now. Best in show this evening is going to be judged by Ann Yuhas from Key Largo, Florida. Not too far away. These are our seven group winners from today. Beautiful group of seven dogs for our Judge Ann Yuhas to sort through. So in the ring today we have the sporting group, wired haired Vsev, and the working group, the Rottweiler. From the herding group, the German Shepherd Dog. From the toy group, the Miniature Pincher. From the Terrier group, the American Staffordshire Terrier. From the non-sporting group, the Miniature Poodle. And from the home group, the Afghan Hound. So the whole group is gonna go around once for our Doug and Muha to get a first look at all these beautiful dogs. Wire-haired Vishla is going to leave the ring. The handler has a conflict of interest with our best in show judge, so of course according to AKC rules, he is not going to stay for the remainder of best in show. But of course our first dog up here in best in show is the German Shepherd dog, Cash. Cash is four years old being shown by Lenny Brown this afternoon. Multiple best in show winner. German Shepherd dogs are one of the most popular breeds in the country. Not only do they make very talented herding dogs, but they are amazing working dogs. They work with police dogs and protection dogs. Search and rescue and therapy dogs. These excel are at different dog sports. Really dogs that need to be stimulated both mentally and physically. They really need a job to do. Next up is the Afghan Hound. The Afghan Hound is Stevie. Stevie is three years old from Ocala, Florida. Being shown by Milton Lopez. One of the top Afghan hounds in the country. This is one of the world's oldest breeds. They are ancient side hounds. The only dog back in Afghanistan is a hunting dog came to the attention of European dog lovers in the 19th century. Really considered a true canine aristocrat. 
elegant, dignified, and easy. Next up is the Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is the winner of the working group, and this is Ringo. Ringo is two years old from Green City, South Carolina, being shown by his handler, Rose Robinette. Rottweilers are a muscular, powerful working breed. They are very loyal family dogs. They're very well behaved house dogs. Very smart. And they're also pretty quiet. They really need a strong bond with their owners. That is completely critical to successful training. service dogs, therapy dogs even. This is the American Staffordshire Terrier, the winner of the Terrier group. This is Fuego. Fuego is two and a half years old. From Sandy Springs, Georgia, being shown by Lisa Sari. And the American Staffordshire Terrier, descended from a Bull and Terrier strain bred in Staffordshire, England. Where there it's called the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And after the breed became established here in the United States, it evolved into a little bit of a larger, heavier type of dog. And that's when it got the name American Staffordshire Terrier. So they are considered two separate breeds. stopped at all since we saw him in the Terrier too. group and in Best in I Show. <laughs> this is the miniature poodle. The miniature poodle is Delta. Delta is two years old from Stewart, Florida, and he is being shown by his owner and handler, Nicole Munecki. Delta's won Best of Variety at the last two Westminster Kennel Club dog shows and is a multiple Best in Show winner. And he was what actually bred as water dogs. And they can be really popular as pets. really considered one of the most intelligent breeds. Be great for people who want a dog that does not shed much. And our final dog in Best in Show is the Miniature Pincher. The miniature pincher is Rosie. Rosie is two years old from Davie, Florida, and she is being shown by her breeder and owner, Armando Angibello. Another multiple best in show winner, the number one miniature pincher in the country, one of the top toy dogs in the country last year in 2018. Minpins really need a structured routine, some regular exercise, and also secure fencing. Because without supervision, they may chew on objects that are laying around the house, squeeze through fencing, or even jump through open windows. They have a very well-deserved nickname, the King of Toys.
And that is it for our best in show lineup here at the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. Our judge, Ann Yuhas, has a beautiful group of dogs to choose best in show from. Have to see if she will probably have them at least go around again for another look. And once our judge selects that best in show winner, make sure you stick with us here on AKC TV because Bill is going to head out into the ring and see if he can chat with our winner. There goes the German Shepherd dog around the ring one more time, followed by the Afghan hound. The Rottweiler. The American Staffordshire Terrier. Here goes the miniature poodle. And finally, our last dog in best in show is the miniature pincher. And our judge will go back and mark her judge's book with her selection. She'll make two awards this afternoon. She'll start with reserve best in show, and then she will award best in show. beautiful group of dogs to choose from. Reserve best in show to the Afghan Hound. Congratulations to Stevie, the Afghan Hound. Reserve best in show. Best in show is the miniature poodle, Delta. And stay with us, everybody. Bill Ellis is heading out to the floor right now to see if he can chat with Delta's owner, Handler. Excuse me. <laughs> looks like she has just left the ring. It looks like Bill's going to try and get it back for a minute. Hold on. There we go. Coming right back out into the center of the ring now. I'm here with our judge, Ann Yuhas, and our best in show winner, the miniature poodle Delta. So, Ann, really beautiful lineup. Great day of dog. So, what made the difference for Delta, the miniature poodle? This is imperfection. Her, uh, the coat. Beautifully and shown beautifully and just outshined everybody tonight. Well, it was really fun to watch. Congratulations, Nicole. I ask this of people a lot, and I'll ask it of you. We talk about we talked about poodles. We talked about the three varieties. If you wanted people to know one thing about poodles, what's the one thing you would want them to know? 
that they're not just a fluffy dog. They can do everything, and they're amazing to live with. Really fun breed, really beautiful dogs. I'm going to throw it back to Marissa to send it out. All right, thanks so much, Bill. And yes, another big congratulations from all of us here at AKC TV to Delta. I want to show you guys the upcoming schedule that we have for AKC TV as well. We're going to pull that up on your screen. AKC TV's upcoming schedule, we have the AKC Rally National Championship Friday, March 15th. We have the AKC National Obedience Championship Saturday and Sunday, March 16th and 17th. The AKC Agility National Championship Sunday, March 17th and the Rally Kennel Club Dog Show, Saturday, March 23rd. Thank you so, so much to everybody who's joined us here today, live in West Palm Beach, Florida. Myself, Bill, the entire AKC TV team, happy to be here with you, happy to be here for the Palm Beach County Dog Fanciers Association. And I'm gonna close it out for us for the rest of the show. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great night. <laughs>